Welcome back. Austin is the largest no-kill city two years running, and now Austin Pets Alive plans to keep it that way forever. Joining us today is Dr. Ellen Jefferson. She's the executive director for Austin Pets Alive. Also on the show with us today, she brought a friend. This is Coco Grace, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll talk about him in just a second because he is up for adoption. Yes. But there is going to be a party on Sunday night to celebrate this two years of no-kill status. Uh, congratulations, first of all. A lot of hard work goes into this. Mm -hmm. Kind of talk about what it means to have this no-kill status. Well, for a city, it's actually pretty rare. So so, um, and it means that every adoptable animal that enters the city shelter is saved and not euthanized. Mm -hmm. And so Austin is leading the, the charge with the largest no-kill city in the country, and it's because our city shelter doesn't euthanize animals that are adoptable. What does it take? To, to obtain that status for a city this size? It's a lot of work, and there's a lot of groups that are helping with this. Um, all the area shelters, there's over 100 rescue groups. The community came forward. Um, one of the programs we started was a foster program. Mm -hmm. It's the largest foster program in the country, and mm -hmm. that's because Austinites have opened up their homes to these animals. Well, let's introduce everyone to Coco Grace. Uh, and how did he come to you guys? He actually came to us because his owner um, was having trouble taking care of him, a little mm -hmm. bit older person, and um, they just couldn't keep him anymore. And so we, we took him in. He was a one one family dog, and so yeah. this has been kind of upsetting for him, but yeah. we're hoping he can find another home where and he can be pampered. How old is he, and, and what breed is he? Kind of describe him a little bit. He's about eight years old. Mm -hmm. um, we generally call Chihuahua Dachshund mixes Chihuinis, but we're calling <laughs> him a Chihuasage, because <laughs> he's a little he's bit got, bigger. <laughs> he's got some weight on him, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but he's actually losing weight and, um, and doing great. He's a really happy, really friendly little guy. Again, and once again, he is up for adoption. And you guys are having a party on Sunday evening yes. at the Belmont downtown. And this is to celebrate the no-kill status. Kind of talk about the party a little bit. Yeah, we're really excited about it. It is um, the first time that APA is doing a signature event like this. Mm -hmm. And um, we're, we are honoring um, Eddie Rodriguez, st state representative, council members Mike Martinez and Lauren Morrison, who were instrumental in passing the no-kill resolution in 2011. Mm -hmm. And um, we have great supporters, Subaru and Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. Um, are both supporting it, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. We have a live auction, um, live music, and it's going to be great. And it's not just APA. You're kind of hoping all of the shelter groups will kind of come together yes. for this. It's a community event. That's the whole point, is to really celebrate with the community and take a minute to re really understand what this means, that this is such a big success. Absolutely. It's a, a huge undertaking to obtain the no-kill status and even more, maintain it mm -hmm. uh, for two years now. So congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for being on our show. And Coco Grace? Hope to find you a, a happy home. <laughs>